Relax, great one. And let me teach you how to solve this Harvard entrance exam question. It's just so easy. And don't forget to stay to the end because I'm going to show you how to check for your solution. It's going to be amazing. And also tell us how it helps you in the comments. We always want to serve you best. Now, this is when you look at this, this is your usual system of equation. Okay. So to solve this, we are going to have to begin with solution. So what do we do? This is what we have. So let's repeat what we have there. This is, and this is equation one. The other one we have this as this, and that is equation two. So what you just simply need to do is either to make X subject from equation one and then substitute in equation two, or you make Y subject and do same. So let's make X subject in equation one, okay? So let's make x subject, okay? And that is from equation one. So we, to do that, we are going to have, this is x plus y is equal to eight. So we are going to remove this is positive, it's going to be negative now because you subtract from both sides. So x will give us eight minus y. We are going to put this value of x into the second equation. To do that, we are going to have, so this gives us, this is our x, so we're going to have 8 minus y, then this is our y, okay, is equal to 48. Now, this can be written to be y into 8 minus y is equal to 48. So what do you do? Distribute this into the bracket. So to do that, why we multiply this, we have 8y. Why we multiply this, we have negative y squared. And that is equal to 48. Interesting. Now, what do you do next? This is leading you to quadratic equation because the highest power of y is 2. So you are free to rearrange this to look beautiful so that the one with y squared begins it. And you know it's having a negative. So you have to be careful to carry it along. So this is what you have. This is positive. You have this, okay? The sign is not changing yet because they are both at the left side of the equation. I hope you are with me there. Now, to remove this is positive, you need to subtract, okay? So when you subtract, you have minus 48 is equal to, when you subtract this, it gives you zero. So you observe that the only one that changed sign is this, because it has changed position. So this is what we have, but we want to remove this negative sign here, to do that, we are going to multiply this equation by negative 1, okay? And that will give us, multiply this, it gives you y squared. Multiply this, it gives you negative 8y. Multiply this, it gives you positive 48. Multiply 0, it gives you 0. Interesting. So to solve this, remember, for y, you have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 multiplied by a. This is your general quadratic formula. So we're going to use this formula as a guide. Our a in this formula is the coefficient of y squared, and that will give us 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, and that is negative 8. Okay? Then our c is the constant, which is uh, 48. So we're going to plug this for values into this equation to now have y is equal to our b is negative but remember that it's negative in the formula so you have negative of this value of b okay plus or minus square root of your b is still negative 8 you square it minus 4 we multiply by our a is 1 okay multiply by our c is 48 interesting and is divided by 2 multiplied by 1 okay so we keep simplifying why we give us this we give us 8 plus or minus square root of negative 8 squared is negative 8 times 2 and that will give us 64 so we multiply this 4 multiplies 8 we give us a uh, 32 so we write 2 take 3 Four times this will give us 16 plus 3 will give us 19. So we have this minus, I hope you are with me. And this is divided, multiply this, it gives you 
2. So we keep simplifying. We take it to this part. So we have y is equal to 8 plus or minus. So subtract this, you are going to have square root of negative 128. Okay. And this is divided by 2. Now you observe that the value in this root is negative. So this means that we are going to have a complex solution, okay? Because there is no real solution that has negative sign inside the square root. So in that case, we are going to simplify to have y is 8 plus or minus square root of. This will give us negative 1 multiplied by 128, okay? And divided by 2. You have to remember for every root of a times b, it is root a multiplied by root b. So we're going to use it at this part to now have y is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of negative 1 multiplied by, then this 128, you know we can still split it to be 64 multiplied by 2 because we want to find the perfect square in this 128. So the whole of this is divided by 2. So keep simplifying. Remember that whenever you have square root of negative 1, it is always represented with this imaginary unit, which is i. So this is going to be another guide. So simplify, we are going to have y is 8 plus or minus. This would take the shape of i, okay, multiplied by 64 is a perfect square. So each square root will be out of the root to give us 8. This one will remain because it's not perfect. So we have root 2. And the whole of this is divided by 2. Interesting. Simplifying it again. And don't forget to give this tutorial a like. Let's know how it helps you in the comments. And don't forget to also share it so that the algorithm catches it and send to more people that need these skills. Thank you very much. And let's continue. So from here we have y is equal to 8 plus or minus. This will be multiplied to give us 8 root 2i. Okay. Now remember that this can divide each of the numerators. So we have this. And this gives us y is, divide this we have 4 plus or minus 4 root 2i. So if you split it, we have the first value of y is 4 plus 4 root 2i, okay? And then the second value of y is 4 minus 4 root 2i. So these are the two values of y. Now let's plug these two values of y in the value of x we've already stated earlier to find their corresponding values of x. So let's recall that x is equal to 8 minus y, okay? So let's plug in the first value of y. So when y is equal to 4 plus 4 root 2i, that's the first value of y, we are going to have x is equal to, that's the first value of x will be 8 minus your y is an expression. So please put it in brackets, okay? So that this negative, this subtraction sign will affect every sign in the bracket. So if you do that, this first value of x will be 8. Distribute, we have negative 4. This will be negative 4 root 2i. Okay? So if you keep simplifying, the first value of x will be, subtract this, you have 4 minus 4 root 2i. So this is the first value of x. So we're going to have it as, the first value of x and the corresponding value of y will be when x is 4 minus 4 root 2i, our first y is 4 plus 4 root 2i. It's so interesting. Okay, now we've gotten this. Let's now get the second value of x to have. So when y is equal to when the second value of y is 4 minus 4 root 2i, we are going to have x is equal to, the second value of x will be 8 minus 2 sem here. You have 4 minus 4 root 2i. Okay? So if you simplify this, you have the second value of x will be 8. Distribute this, you have this. 
plus 4 root 2i. So if you simplify this, you have the second value of x will be 4 plus 4 root 2i. So if this is the second value of x, we have it that the second value of x and the corresponding y would be 4 plus 4 root 2i and 4 minus 4 root 2i. So this gives us the two, the corresponding x and y values of this particular equation. So now we've gotten these two values of x and y. You, did you observe that for what you have as the first value of x is the value of y, the second value of y. And what you have as the second value of y becomes the first value, the second value of x. So you see that these two sets are the same. So what we do to check is we are going to only work with one of the sets. You can try the second set and let's know what you feel about it in the comment. And I hope you've already given us a like. So let's do this check together. So we check with this set. So we're going to have, we are checking with x1 and y1 as 4 minus 4 root 2i. Okay. And 4 plus 4 root 2i. Now we are going to add these two to see if it gives us 8 and also multiply to see if it gives us 48. So let's do this together. So we're going to now have x plus y will be, so we have, this is our x, 4 minus 4 root 2i plus 4 plus 4 root 2i. So we collect like terms. We're going to have, this gives us 4 plus 4 minus 4 root 2i plus 4 root 2i. Add this, it gives you what? 8. Okay, when you subtract, this will be added. You see it goes off, so you are having zero. So adding it gives you eight, and that is what you have at the right side. So we're also going to do for the multiplication, x, y will be four minus four root two i is to be multiplied with four plus four root two i. So looking at this carefully, you observe that the two values are the same. The only difference is in the sign. So you just remember that for every a squared minus b squared, it is a plus b, okay, and uh, a minus b, your usual difference of two squares. So we're going to use difference of two squares to expand this. And to do that, the whole of this is going to be, so this is going to be our a, and this will be our b. So applying this in expanding, we are having x, y is equal to, we have 4 squared minus 4 root 2i squared. Okay, so we expand that. 4 squared is 16, 4 multiplied 2 times, minus when you have this, it means 4 root 2i multiplied by 4 root 2i. Okay, we have 16 minus 4 times 4 will give us 16. Root 2 times root 2, when you have root a multiplied by root a, it is root a raised to power 2. And the square will cancel the square root, you have a. Okay, so when you multiply this, it is just the same as 2. Did you get that? Now, when you have i multiplies i, remember, it will give you i squared and you know that i is equal to root of negative 1. So when you have this, it is root of negative 1 raised to power 2. So in that case, this square will cancel the square root. So you'll be left with negative 1. So i times i will give you negative 1. Did you see that? So you keep simplifying this. We have 16 minus Multiply this, it gives you 32 times this, negative 32. Did you see? So this will give us negative times negative is positive. So we have 16 plus 32. And when you add this, it gives you 48. And for x multiplied by y, we are having 48. And that is what we have at the right side of the equation. So in conclusion, we have it that.
x1 and y1 giving us 4 minus 4 root 2i and 4 plus 4 root 2i as the first value of this set. And the second value is 4 plus 4 root 2i and the 4 minus 4 root 2i as the second value of this set. The two values are the same. And I hope, and they are both correct. I hope this really helps you a lot. Let us know how much in the comments and don't forget to share for others to learn. Give this tutorial a thumbs up and thank you for always engaging with us. I appreciate you all. Bye-bye.